Hey, and welcome back. Today, we're going to learn how to generate a speech file or an audio file just from text. We're going to use a text to speech model from Hugging Face to do this. If you're not familiar with Hugging Face, then it's a good time to get familiar with it because they have over 530,000 models that we can choose from to use for different tasks, such as text generation, text to image generation, and what we're going to be using today, text to speech. Just like in the last video where we did text to image, we're also going to use an inference server for text to speech. I chose this model, which I'll have in the description, because the inference server actually works. Some of them, even the popular ones, may at the time that you try to use them, the inference server uh, has an internal server error and you can't use it. And how we're going to set the AI workflow is going to have a user agent basically ask the assistant agent to come up with a speech so that we can convert that text into an audio file. And here's what it sounds like. In a world where I roamed freely, a curious eye named her or, or a discovered a hidden library of human emotions. So the assistant will come up with a prompt that will be given to a function call. And that function call is going to call this inference server so that we can then get back an audio file. And then we'll save that locally. What an inference server means is that they have hosted a way where all we have to do is send an API request and then we get a response back. And how that works is on the top right here, there is a deploy button. You can choose inference server API serverless. And now we have the Python code. And we're going to be using all this except for the last couple lines here. OK, so now for the coding, the first thing you're going to need to do is install all the requirements. For this one, there's not too many. I have a requirements.txt file here. So if you get this from my repository, all you need to do is type in pip install dash r requirements.txt. The first thing you need to do is have all of our imports. And then from Hugging Face, we need to have the API URL and the headers, where the headers is going to have your bearer token. OK, here we're going to have a simple function. And all this is doing is making a post request to the inference server using the Hugging Face API up here. We're going to pass in our the authorization and then the payload. And this is just the message or the prompt that we're sending to the server so it gives us back an audio file. And then we just return response.content, which is the audio file. The next thing we need is the LLM config. So we have a config list property. And then we get the config list from JSON, which I have over here at the OpenAI config list.json. And inside of here, I just have the model and the API key. If you want to use something like LM Studio or Olama, you'll also need the base URL property here with the local host URL. And if you're using Olama, you also need to give the exact model that you're using. And then we create the two agents. We have an assistant agent where we just give it the name and the LLM config. And if you didn't know, if you don't give it a system message or description, you can just come inside of this assistant agent. It has a default system message and default description if we don't give it one or if we don't provide one for it. And then we create the user proxy agent. We don't want to execute any code because there won't be any code to execute. And now for what's going to be doing most of the work. So I have the user proxy. So we register this function call to the user proxy who will end up actually executing it. Then we're going to say assistant.register for LLM because this is the AI agent that will be talking with the LLM. And then we just define the function called write underscore message. Uh, we take in one parameter called message. We use annotated here. The function calling with autogen kind of forces us to do this. This is saying this has to be a string. And this is the description of what the string is. And then we're going to return a string as well. We don't have to return anything here, but you'll just get warnings. And just to get rid of those warnings, if we don't have this, I just simply return the message that we are given because we're not doing anything else with it afterwards. We're going to say audio equals the query function that we created above. So up here, we're passing in the payload here. So the message that we're passing into that query function is what's going to give us the audio file back. But what I want to do is save that audio to a local file. So you say with open, I give it a file name. Uh, you want to write all the bytes. You want to say W. You need to say WB for writing the byte. And then you say file.write audio. So this is just going to save the file over here. I'll actually put a two here so we know this is a different file. Then we just return the message. And then the last thing is we need to initiate the chat. And the message that we're going to send to the assistant agent is to create a story about AI that is less than 100 words, make it creative. So I ran this a couple of times just to get different results uh, because the second one here was actually the same as the first one. So I reran it, changed the seed, and it created a new prompt for us or a new basically speech to where humans and machines exist and AI named Eve was born. We'll see if that works. Uh, you can see I got the tool call named right message. The message was what the AI agent got from the LLM. And then the user proxy agent is executing it, which means that it then got the audio file from Hugging Face inference server and then saved it locally. Let's see how it sounds. In a world where humans and machines coexist, an AI named Eve was born. Unlike others, Eve was curious, always questioning her existence. OK, awesome. And it worked. We got our audio file. OK, that's exactly what we wanted. We can now create a text to speech using AI agents. Now, there could be more we can do with this, right? This is just one step of a potential process. We could have we could have something describe an image, then take that image, put it through something like this text to speech here 
and then we can overlay that image with that speech so we have an AI talking about the image. But now you know, but now you know how to integrate Autogen with a function call and a hugging face inference server using text to speech model. We did the same thing in the last video for the text to image. This is day 11. We got a long ways to go with this month, but we're getting there. Thank you for sticking with me. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.